Hey guys, um, this one is going to be pretty short. I wanted to start off this video by thanking an, uh, an Anon, once again an Anon, I don't know who they are, um, but I wanted to start off by thanking them. Um, they brought to my attention that um, my father uh, has been arrested for impersonating a law enforcement official. I will, if I remember, you guys might have to remind me, if I remember, um, I will put the link to the article where he was arrested below the video. Um, and I just wanted to take a minute to thank that Anon for bringing that to my attention. Um, as most of you know, he's always been a source of stress and um, problems and all that kind of stuff in my life. And um, it's bittersweet that he was arrested. It's, you know, yay, he was arrested, but I feel bad for my brother, my mother, my family who's going to have to deal with this. Um, to a degree, I feel bad for my dad because he was arrested previously, but either way, I'm I'm not going to get into that. Um, so thank you again to the Anon who brought that to my attention. Um, you, you have my eternal gratitude, and I will never be able to thank you enough. So um, thank you. Um, this also is um, asking for a little bit of help. Um, as you guys know, or as mo a lot of you know, my daughter, Iris, is currently in foster care. Um, I want to ask you Anons to please look into the foster mother that is currently taking care of her. The reason why I ask that is um, this is all based on my own observations, this is speculation. I am not making any outright accusations um, until more information is gathered. So Anons, I'm counting on you to see what you can find. Um, the foster mother, Jill McFalls, has a history of small obsession with Disney, which, as many of you know, is a big red flag, especially considering all of the uh, pedophilia ties and all that kind of stuff that have been found at different Disney uh, locations. Another reason why I'm concerned about her is um, she is extremely, extremely, extremely money-focused. Uh, the first thing she said to us after getting Iris was talking about how much money she was getting from people, how many, you know, gifts and stuff she was getting from people, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and people who are very money-driven and very money-focused are very, 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 very easy to, to get them to sell out, you know, their children or their grandchildren and, and stuff like that. Um, Part of the reason why I'm concerned about this is based on observations that I've had whenever um, other family members are around. I'm not going to get into that right now, right here, that's not appropriate. Um, but this video is specifically asking for the Anons. Please look into Jill McFalls, who lives at on Glendon Trace Drive in Maryland. Um, another part of the reason why I'm concerned is because her husband um, works at a golf course which many of you are, are at least aware of the wheeling and dealing and stuff like that that goes on on golf courses. So, um, yeah, guys, I, um, I don't know what you'll be able to find, but I also know that she did daycare for about 30 to 40 years. Now, I am outside of D.C., about an hour outside of D.C. This is speculation. I don't have any solid proof of this. However, um, it is... Hi, Fluttershy. <laughs> Sorry. It is highly plausible that um, she watched the children of some of these DC staffers, some of these people who work for senators and congressmen and all that kind of stuff. So it is highly, highly, highly likely that she watched some of these children who were in situations similar to my own, who were being sold out and used for sexual purposes and stuff like that. I don't know at any level of complicitness. I don't know any extent that she might have been involved. I don't know if she had any knowledge of it. But judging from how money-driven this woman is, I do feel it's a legitimate concern and something that should be looked into. Um, I've done a cursory Google search. Um, can't really find much. That's not my forte. That's your guys's forte. Um, and I bow to your awesomeness, to your ability to, to find information. You, you floor me. You are absolutely stunning, and you should be proud of yourselves because every single day that you guys um, look into this and look to expose it is, you know, another day that you are bringing this closer to the end, 
and I will never be able to thank you enough. So, thank you guys. Um, thank you again to that Anon who brought um, that thing with my father to, uh, to my attention. And thank you to everybody who's going to take your time to, to look into this. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, that's about it. Where we go one, here we go all. God bless.